So I came down here to the store to fill up the 4540 here with lime. And the gentleman on the inside actually asked what my prescription was for the lime. I told him, I don't know, what are you talking about? He said, well, if you've done your soil samples, I can help you out. Yo, I didn't know I could take soil samples. So I got to run back over to the farm and figure out how in the world I could do that. And I wonder why in the world they went ahead and took the stickers off that truck there. Maybe they got a new piece of equipment coming in. You know what? That might be a really good farm truck. I actually just sold the other one, so I need something fast. I was going to get something a little bit newer, but yeah, maybe, maybe I'll just go with that. So I got back to the house, made a couple phone calls, and the person that actually can do this for me said they could squeeze me in at, at tomorrow. So went ahead and had the worker finish off the regular field here, and I'm going to go around and cut in a little bit more because he said that he needs the whole field done, like cultivated ground or plow ground is the best to, to take these samples in. So I've got to get this knocked out tonight. The other field over there, since it was already in a harvested state, he can go ahead and do that one as well. I don't plan on doing any extra, you know, shaping the field or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and then give him a ring. And hopefully tomorrow we'll have some samples. I don't know how he did it, but he got those samples taken and returned in a hurry. I got my prescription and we are good to go. Putting down some lime here if I could actually get over on the edges. And then, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a great day. It's a great day. I could actually start putting some grass here in this field. We're going to put some wheat over in the other because I realized that I need another, I don't know, kind of a cash crop, some bales, things like that. It's going to be a ton of bales over there, but I think we're going to be okay. It, 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 trust me, I've got a plan on how we're going to be able to store these a little bit better so we don't have to sell them at a super low price and speaking of selling guys it's november now so i've only got a couple more months until i uh, can sell all of the rest of the grain that we've got there in the, the silo um around december january i think probably about the time that all the snow is on the ground is whenever we're going to be able to make a lot of money over there on all of that product and then we could really start investing here into this farm i've got a little little bit over a hundred thousand dollars now there is a couple pieces of equipment that i want to get that's hopefully gonna help improve the efficiency of the farm i've even got my eye on a couple pieces of property i yes i want to expand already because like i said it's not just the best but the biggest farm that i could make here honoring my granddad he had big plans he did and i do too so I've got the other worker over here plowing in this field. I, we went ahead and got the samples out of it, and it's time to go ahead and, and get this tilled up because I don't have a direct drill. So I'm heading up to get another load of lime here because it did not go very far at all. I'm going to be making a lot of trips into town today, so this might take quite a while. Hopefully, they're going to be able to get this done. And then when they do, I can have them go over there because i only plan on having one worker today i don't think i'm gonna have a need for two but maybe maybe i should give him a call like i got with this field right here and as you can see it looks pretty good i, I missed one little spot out there but i'm not too worried about it i don't want to put any extra lime down we'll grab that the next time but i'm waiting on the worker over there to get a little bit more done and then kind of touch up the outsides a little bit more before i start putting lime down so I think I'm going to go ahead and start putting grass seed in this field. The problem is granddad didn't have very much grass seed at all. So I got to use something to go fill up the seed tender. Um, the good thing is, though, that since I know what the soil type is here and everything like that, I'm going to know how much fertilizer to put down. So I shouldn't have to come back with any more fertilizer at all after this initial pass, maybe. I think, I think that's going to be a good thing. Even though I'm just going to use this for uh, fertilizer, I still want it to grow really, really big. So I've got to go figure out a truck to be able to haul that seed tender around. Well, I was able to get run into town and I actually found a truck for sale. Yeah, it was over at a different dealership in town. And this thing is actually pretty sweet, guys. It used to be a service truck for a local Kubota dealership. Like, not in Alma, but local ish right so i got a really good deal on it under twenty thousand is what i paid for this thing so this is going to be absolutely perfect for hauling this thing around i might even be able to use it for the fifth wheel um the the low boy that i've got over there too so 
it opens up all kinds of possibilities but now i've got to get this cedar filled up and then i can get the worker on that the plowing is now complete and it's time for me to go ahead and start working on that massive field of putting lime down guys it's gonna take quite a while it's only 10 o'clock so i'm figuring it's gonna take me until at least lunchtime probably because i gotta run back and forth quite a few times fill it up i'm gonna go ahead and get this plow put away here and um i've been thinking i i know i just spent a bunch of money on the truck but i've been thinking i've got an opportunity in the back part of my property to make some really really good money great dad mentioned this to me and i hadn't really thought about it until just now because like man i'm spending a lot of money how am i gonna make some money back yeah i know i got crops to sell but there's another opportunity that i've got back there that i really think i'm gonna go ahead and probably start working on here in the spring but i gotta get some things in order first and then we'll be good to go then but let's go get that lime in the field well y'all i got all of the lime put in the other field over there it took a little bit less time than i thought it was going to but now i've got to help this worker here finish up getting all of this seated and guys i don't know i mean i i, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get everything in the ground all the wheat over there before i, I the deadline right i've got a deadline of tonight so that i could still get this thing claimed on insurance if anything were to happen so i don't know i may i may have to go try and find another cedar maybe i don't know we'll see we'll see all right i got them taken care of and they are gonna get back to work here and i think i'm gonna run in town and see if i can't find another cedar now i have no idea what i'm gonna get do i get something just kind of cheap that just gets me through or do i try and upgrade a little bit i do have seventy-one thousand dollars, but if i spend all this what happens when i need some seeds so i don't know i'm i'm in a tough spot right now maybe maybe i've got to take a little bit of a loan out yeah i know you guys haven't seen this piece of equipment and you're probably not going to see me use it here on the farm i'm actually taking it up to the store right now i'm gonna sell this i'm trying to get every little dollar amount that i can into the bank because guys i've got a lead on a bigger cedar i think i've got a tractor that's big enough to use it but I need to go check it out first to make sure that we've got the horsepower requirement that we need. It's a little bit different piece of equipment than what I think typically you'd see kind of in this area. I don't know. It's 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 a good piece. It is. It is. I've seen some really good reviews on it. So hopefully it's a good shape and I can get a really, really good deal on it. So hopefully here after I grab some lunch, I'm going to go check this thing out and hopefully fingers crossed. We're going to be able to get a brand new, well, not brand new, but new to me, Cedar. We're going to be taking care of putting wheat in that field right there.